Hi guys, in this video, I will show you a very simple yet uh, useful automation uh, in order to notify your team about the weather forecast in their city. This can be useful if you manage a team that works remotely and maybe on the field, so you can make sure that they dress properly for the day. So let's run it and see what happens. So as you can see now in the video, uh, basically the automation retrieves uh, the list of um, your colleagues from a spreadsheet. It checks for each city uh, the weather, then sends a personalized email to each of them. And then, well, if they don't check the email, it also sends a Slack message per city uh, on your Slack channel. So let's deep dive and see how to set this up. So first of all, you need to have the list of your team on a spreadsheet. So as you can see, uh, there are two people, so me in Nice and Olivia in Nice, two people in Madrid, and Davide who is in Turin. Here I have the list of emails. So in the make scenario here, I can just connect uh, my Google account, check for the uh, Google spreadsheet, check for the sheet, so the field team. It contains headers, yes. Maximum number of uh, return rows. So in my case, I have five rows. I put five, but you can also put 100 and it will take uh, only the um, existing number of rows with a limit of 100. So this built-in module in Make allows you to uh, select a city. So the location you want to have the weather forecast. So in this case, I will check for the cities for each row. So we'll check. So here we see, for example, Turin. So we'll, uh, I can ask. Uh, to retrieve the cities that are in my spreadsheet. And here I, I see that it has five operations, one per line, basically. Then here a router allows me to create two branches. So one to send uh, one personalized image to each member of the team. So here we see that we have five operations as well. The first email is sent to uh, Davide. And if we go on the content, it's an HTML. We see that in Turin right now, there are 17 degrees uh, here. I don't know, because we will check the email later. Uh, if it's sunny and uh, I remember him, okay, dress properly for the day if you're on the field. And um, here instead, so imagine David maybe is not checking uh, the emails in the morning. So I also want to notify uh, my team on the Slack channel uh and this is gonna notify them per city so uh, as you saw here in the list i have three cities turin nice and madrid uh, so it will send a message uh, only three messages because it's uh, it bundles uh, them per city so i have three operations one for turin one for nice and one one for madrid so this is the power of uh, iterator that allows me to group uh, the messages by city and retrieve uh, in this case, I just selected the description, the temperature, and the icon. Let's see how it um, it went. So if you go, for instance, I set it up that also like the emails from Sofia are to me. So we see that in Madrid, it's a bit cloudy. Uh, if we look in at Nice, Olivia, it's even cloudier. Okay, I can confirm today it's not, it's not the best. Okay, and if we go Madrid, again, cloudy. So uh if we go on slack in notifications here we see that we received uh the emails the the slack the, the messages per city so touring nice and so well, thank you guys i hope you liked it let me know uh of course you can notify your team about many many different things so let me know uh, if you want uh something more and to, if you enjoyed this video and uh, if you think it's useful.